Meet Dr. Osvaldo Basquer, the author of Digital Transformation in the Process Industries. As a process engineer, Dr. Basquer has helped companies save tens of millions of dollars by using real-time operational data to reduce downtime or extend the life of facilities. He developed with other industrial data pioneers what he calls the digital plant template approach. It had a straightforward goal, compare the performance of a plant with an optimized digital model that had eluded others in the past. It's a two-step approach. We let the computer compare the targets with the actuals in real time, and they calculate the times that are in the not a profitable way, and then present that information to people in a timely basis so they can look for what is not there, how they can improve. Like Goldratt and Cox in The Goal, he presents his approach in a novel based on his experiences. The interesting thing about writing this book as a story is that I can say things that I would have never been able to say if, if it was reality. Dr. Basquer developed his digital plant template approach over 25 years at OSI Soft. He helped customers understand their operations with real-time data from the Pi system and thereby analyze problems and opportunities to a level not possible before. But he started working out the fundamentals in 1993 as a control engineer customer of OSI Soft at Pennzoil. We were very proud with what we have done, so we were able to present at the National Refinery Association. And in that time, Pat Kennedy also was been talking with me to implement these ideas uh, using uh, this technology for customers that might be interested. So we wrote a paper that became the seminal paper, which is called Measuring, Managing, and Maximizing Refinery Performance, which was our card of entry to start talking to some other people around the world. So at that time, I joined OSI, and we started to talk to some other customers in the refining industry, and they started to implement with spreadsheet, and it was a lot of little work that they needed to do, but the benefits were there, and there was a lot more that we could do to help them to implement this in a much easier fashion. And we were still working in our software for that to be part of the product. We added this um, technology that we were able to generate the operational modes, and then we were discussing that with some customers at one of the user conference, and the people from Arcelor became extremely interested, so we gave them that template in a, in a file, and they tested, configured it, and they started to use it for a lot of their applications. They got tremendous results because they were able to increase their production that was from 24 millions to 26 million tons per day by shaving all that time that was sometime in idle mode or in trouble mode. The people from Barry Gold got very interested and they hired a person that started to work with me remotely and he configured it for a gold plant and not only he was able to detect the operational and hidden lost, he was able to develop a predictive analytics to improve their gold recovery. Barry Gold presented at the user conference, then we got uh, people from Canada, it's amazing, Bale and, and New Gold became interested, so the same template was reused by other people. Every time that we have done this implementation, it has been shortened the time from seven days to three days, because we have learned what we need to do and what we need to reject in the configuration. Dr. Basquiat has been on the forefront of the use of real-time data to improve production for 30 years. And in digital transformation in the process industries, he tells you what to expect. We're living in turbulent time, but the people that are willing to take some risk and understand this digital change, they will see a bright future.